Varholm, Fernandes, Capello, Moro and Williams. Well, the brilliant young Norwegian, Varholm, recently improved his Norwegian record, or improved the Norwegian record of 49.45, but he ran 48.84 in qualifying for this, so he really is a super young talent to watch out for. But this man, the ex-Cuban, Yasmani Copello for Turkey. He's been living in Turkey for the last six, sorry, the last four years. So he's been able to compete for them too. Now, we have Martin Cuchero, the Slovakia, on the inside here, former World Student Games champion. And next to him is Jack Green, making a welcome return to the sport, having shown such a terrific promise and he's got below 49 seconds again this year and Karim Hussein who of course delighted the people in uh, Zurich when he won the 400 hurdles title two years ago he goes in lane three then in lane four is Karsten Varholm who set that Norwegian record world youth octathlon champion back in 2013 Sergio Fernandez, who's improved markedly this year to 49.02. And then the man who ran so fast in the semis, Yasmani Capello, was a Cuban, now competes for Turkey. Clearly heading the rankings is Capello. Then we've got Oscari Moro for Finland, who ran the best in his semi as did Reese Williams, 49-22, third, second, first in previous championships. He likes the Europeans. Looking at Hussain, the defending champion. The favourite, obviously, from what we saw in the semi-final, Yasmani Capello Escobar, to give him his full name. Four hundred hurdles final. Cachera, Green, Hussein, Varholm, Fernandez, Copello, Moro, and Williams. Well, the clapping on the far side for the long jump. So the after starter wisely calls the athletes to stand up so that we can perhaps have a little bit of hush for the start of this race. This is young Carsten Varholm. European junior silvers at both 400 metres and decathlon. He ran that 400 metres in the middle of the decathlon as well. Astonishing performance. Oh, warning to Reese Williams. Well, they were being held in their marks for a long time. Reese Williams can't quite know. He puts his hand up. Well, they're not really allowed to do that, but um, every justification one would imagine he felt anyway because of the noise in the stadium but it is actually under the control of the starter On your mind. so the final of the men's 400 hurdles Cuchera, Green, Hussein, Varholm, Fernandez, Copello, Moro and Williams Yasmani and Copello for Turkey in lane 6 having run 48-42 in his semi-final. Okay. Away with no trouble. And uh, Pelo already rising hard and Hussein running fast in uh, lane three. Spaniard Fernandez a little bit being left behind with Varholm having streaked past him. Varholm has got off to an excellent start. The young Norwegian going in lane four. Capello out in six. Hussein in lane three. So Capello, I think, is possibly going to lead as they come into the home straight. Yes, he is. He's moving ahead of the field now. Varholm still running very strongly indeed, as is Hussein. 
Oh, it's going to be close. Uh, line abreast, those three now. Well, Varholm fades. The Spaniards coming through very fast indeed. Capello looks strong. He takes it, and I think Fernandez has got up for second. Yes, he has. And in third place, Karim Hussein. Well, the Spaniard was hanging back. Varholm went shooting past him on the back straight, but didn't he finish well? But uh, though he didn't need to run as fast as he did in the semi-final, it's Capello who takes the gold medal. The clock showing 48-98. Another goal to Turkey, who are having a fine championships with the men they've recruited from all over the world. <laughs> well, one has to be honest about that. Oh, yes. Fernandez in second place. Well, these young Spanish uh, sprinters are really doing exceedingly well, Phil. Well, Fernandez, he's been gunning for the Spanish record over 400 metres hurdles for uh, the best part of a year. He's reduced his own personal best to 49.02. Didn't quite run as fast as that. Spanish record stands at 49. And at Zero, 0 and has stood for 29 years. I think he's going to be very close indeed to that. But it was a terrific run from the Spaniard. Of course, we're looking at Copello run away here with the gold medal. But just look at the way the Spaniard came through from fourth to second over the course of that final 300 metres, 300 metres, 30 metres. Well, second fastest run of his career for Fern Fernandez, 46. 49.06, getting a little bit tom-tied. The Spanish national...